Lowell Darling is running for governor of California because he has the solution. It's called Bring Home the Politicians. And just like with our cell phones and computers, it's time to upgrade our current centralized constitutional republic to a localized constitutional republic. We accomplish this by relocating U.S. representatives and senators to our state capitals. And by relocating state representatives and senators to our city halls and courthouses to securely telecommute for no less than 75% of their terms while we surround them. This idea can go one step further and relocate U.S. representatives directly to our local districts. Article 1, Section 4 of the U.S. Constitution states that U.S. Congress shall assemble at least once in every year, making this completely doable in the current framework. Article 1, Section 5, Clause 4 reads, Neither House during the session of Congress shall, without the consent of the other, adjourn for more than three days, nor to any other place than that in which the two houses shall be meeting. This shows how right now U.S. Congress can enact Bring Home by a simple majority vote in both the House and the Senate to move their session from D.C. to another location. Article 1, Section 5, Clause 2 goes on to say, Each House may determine the rules of its proceedings. Therefore, the U.S. House and Senate can include new rules updated for the 21st century that now list telecommuting as a form of being present to vote. State constitutions contain what are called seat of government sections, and while each state constitution differs, they can all be amended where necessary to implement this plan. So how can we get this started? It begins with understanding that this isn't a new idea and was in fact proposed to U.S. Congress under the name of E-Congress on September 14, 2001 as a highly recommended national security upgrade. Another area I feel worthy of discussion in is the ability of Congress to communicate and possibly even conduct legislative operations remotely in the event of a major disruption. The House Administration Committee has held hearings on the feasibility of establishing an e-Congress for emergency situations, and I've introduced legislation to study this matter. Unfortunately, this idea was turned down based primarily on the reverse field of dreams argument that claimed Congress members could not be expected to show up for votes in committee discussions if allowed to telecommute based on previous experiments with proxy voting. Now with state and federal governments seemingly out of control, your assistance is needed now more than ever to ensure that this plan is finally enacted. Here's what you can do to help. In addition to supporting Lowell Darling for governor of California, you can support efforts in 18 states to start voter ballot initiatives so that a simple majority of voters can make this into law while bypassing their state legislatures. This will require both energy and perseverance to accomplish. So let's look at why it's worth the effort. For starters, this will restore the balance of power by putting the citizens in charge once and for all. Sledgehammer politics have not helped this country or its citizens. This plan favors no political party since all need to be reined in, and more importantly, it protects the rights of the parties out of power. Congress will no longer be a one-stop shop now that lobbyists will spend most of their budgets on travel expenses. Predators of freedom will no longer be allowed to violate the Constitution now that citizens and local media surround them as we resume our role as government watchdogs. The era of a single senator with five different offices is over. The cost of upgrading state and local facilities for this plan is dwarfed by the savings from stopping out-of-control government spending. Having the majority of our leaders in the same place leaves this nation incredibly vulnerable. Any natural disaster or assault on D.C. will be far less catastrophic because it will be taking down only one server on a grid of 51. Bring home the politicians is a system-wide solution to what ails us. Lowell Darling will do his part to make Bring Home the Politicians a reality. Please support Lowell Darling for Governor of California by spreading the word, donating to his campaign, and voting Darling for Governor of California. You can learn more at LowellDarling.com.